Hello everyone, <clears throat> today I'm back with an industrious tutorial. We're going to be going over pollution and scrubbers. So as you can see, my world is just a tiny bit polluted. You know, nothing too bad, just 100%. That's not bad. So far I haven't seen any creatures, so I think we're fine. However, 100% pollution is not desirable. There are, if you check the wiki, which I will link down below, there is different percentages of pollution that give benefits to you and give negatives. So right now I, I have a uh, cash decrease. I earn less profit because I have a higher pollution. Now if you had a pollution between negative 40% and negative 50%, you would get the max uh, boost and profit you can possibly get. So, what I'm going to show today is how pollution works, how scrubbers work, and how you can get the perfect ratio, uh, or not the perfect ratio, the perfect percentage for it. So, first we're going to go over scrubbers. Scrubbers here, they're just one machine. It's located in, um, this machine is located in tier 3. If you scroll down to your MISC section, uh, section you should have something called a scrubber it costs 30,000 on the research tree it's all the way towards the right under utility it is under research it is right here it costs 21,000 RP to unlock so you can get it fairly early now a thing to know is that the scrubber is only available in certain modes of the game uh, you cannot get it in impossible difficulty so you gotta watch out for pollution then so how the scrubber works is, of course, we have a power input. We have a fluid input for water or filtered water. Uh, filtered water gives it a tiny bit of efficiency boost, but not much. Then we have a residue output. So how to make a scrubber work is first you need a uh, power source. So to get a power source, I'm actually just going to use the dev solar panel here. So you connect it to here obviously and then you also connect to your water source I will be using a regular pump so when, when that happens it you can start hearing it run and if you check here you'll see it start filling up now it's very important that you do not dump the residue out you a scrubber creates more residue then it removes pollution and if you dump residue you do get pollution so you'll end up just doubling your pollution instead of removing any so runs one scrubber is not going to do much i think it's i think it removes actually i can i can search this up um i'll, I'll put it i'll put in the pinned comment and the description at the end of the video uh whichever it is either it removes like 3.2 or 0.32 um pollution every hour uh that, that's a percent so i always get a lot of people asking in the comments i have uh x amount of pollution how many scrubbers do i need to remove this now, I could give you an answer uh, based off of how many scrubbers for one hour. However, the thing with it is that if this scrubber removes, uh, we're just going to assume it removes 3.2% every hour. I think that's a bit high. I do think it's 0 0.32. But just for the sake of it, we're going to say uh, a scrubber removes 1% of pollution every hour. If you have, like... Here, if you have a bunch of coal drills, if you have like a like just a bunch of them, these are going to be creating pollution. So if these in total create ten percent pollution an hour, and this removes only one percent, you're still going to be gaining nine percent pollution an hour. You're not going to be losing any pollution. So you need to have a balance of things. So, uh, so you need to have a net zero. Uh, pollution, which means you're removing just as much pollution as you're uh, getting. Assuming, assuming you're already in the sweet zone, the sweet spot. So what I'm going to show now, I hate that glare from the sun. What I'm going to show now is how to get the sweet spot, which I said was like negative 42 to negative 50 percent. That is how it is. This does require logic, but once you have logic, it is really simple. So let's just go ahead and get uh, some scrubbers going here 
Also, there is a creature that spawns. I'm sure some of you know. Oh, oops. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There is a creature that spawns uh, from pollution. Uh, some call it a shadow figure. Some call it Stan. I'm not sure where Stan came from, but, you know, that that's just how it be. But it doesn't do anything but basically torment you. It's just a psychological uh, little horror part of the game. So I'm going to place a bunch of scrubbers here. Now, ideally, you would have a lot of scrubbers. Like a lot. And you could, you could build this any way you want, really. I'm just going to use gold silos for all of them. And I'll give each of them their own pump. Now, you could, as I said, use filtered water, which uh, makes it more efficient. Oh, I, I used the wrong one again. I keep forgetting there's two different ones. I need to use the uh, fluid storage here. There we go. Just connect all these up. Now again, there's. I'm gonna I'm gonna mention something about about because some of you are probably wondering what happens when this gets full of residue. Don't worry, I'm gonna cover that in a second. I'm just gonna give each of these their own pump because there's no reason not to. Ah, it's gonna make me do that. All right. That's rather annoying. Whatever. I'm just going to have to remove it one back. So if I give each of these a pump. Just connect it up. And then grab our fluid storage. This is a very simple setup. There's not much going on other than a bit of scrubbers. Now, if you really wanted to, you could get into like the negative hundreds of pollution. But if you're using trees, if you have tree farms, they actually do start uh, growing slower the higher or less pollution you have. Now, technically, trees um, grow best when there's 5 to 10% pollution, but that gives a money negative bonus, uh, a money loss. So, we're, so we usually say the sweet spot is negative 40 to negative 50%. So now the way to do this is to just grab your pole. I'm just going to use a standard, uh, I'm just going to use this pole. Oh, wow, these go far. I didn't realize how far these went. Uh, so we're just going to connect all of our scrubbers. Oh, too far. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so for those of you who don't know how I'm connecting multiple at the same time, if you hold shift, you can do that. Uh, does this one have a connection already? It does. Okay, so now I'm just going to connect these okay perfect so now how to do this it is kind of hard to see with the uh, high pollution I uh, probably should have thought about that before polluting the heck out of this place regardless uh, here it is we saw it 100% as I said it removes very slowly so the way to do this is to find your logic gates right here you need a breaker, which I will explain in a second. You will also need a resistor. And a pollution gate. So connect your resistor to your pollution gate. And then collect your pollution gate to your breaker. Uh, over here 
Uh, then you're also going to want to connect your power source to the resistor as well as this side of the uh, breaker. Then the output of the breaker to your pole. So basically what, what's happening here is you're connecting your power source and turning it into logic but you're also putting it into this breaker. So now what happens is that when we, what a breaker does is if, it's kind of like a transistor if you know what that is. So you input power to one side and then you have no power on the output of the other side. If the middle bit here is powered by logic, which we'll go over in a second, then the power will pass through and it'll be outputted right here, which will go through all of here and power scrubbers. But because we haven't set this up, it's not outputting anything. So do that. We're going to make the minimum value negative 40. We're going to make the maximum value negative 50. So now, because our pollution gate isn't there, because our pollution level isn't between those two, it's going to turn on. It's going to go into the breaker. So it's going to close this. As you can see, it closed. Now it's going to be outputting power. And our machinery should have... Yep, as you see, it does have power. Now, it's actually best to use multiple breakers for this because a breaker can only do uh, so much at a time. So the trick is to take this, put it here. That way you're transferring more at the same time. And if you check our scrubbers, hopefully that's enough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's enough. It's essentially enough. So that's how you create, um, that's how you create, as you can see, we're going down now. That's how you create a, uh, a simple setup for your scrubbers so that they keep you in that sweet Goldilocks zone of pollution being negative 40 to negative 50%. Now, ideally, if you're making a lot of pollution, you would just expand this farther down until you meet your needs. You can, you can go as far as you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, so to go over what I was saying before about residue, you may realize, wait, these are filling up quite fast. What do I do? What do I do if I'm full? If I'm full of residue? Okay, here's the thing. It, this will not work in harder difficulties because if you were to delete this or if you were to void, so there's actually two options for you to do you get a you get a depot truck right here if you put whatever whatever fluid you put in here you can actually press void and that will get rid of it it will just disappear same thing for this whatever you have in here just delete it and place it back now unfortunately if you are in a harder difficulty deleting and voiding will actually just act as if you're dumping your pollution i mean dumping your residue into the ground and it will pollute you so you will have to get multiple of these or alternatively you could use residue somewhere there are certain things that require residue so you can reuse it although it's pretty inefficient but if you want to you can there's also, if I can find it, there's also, there's also liquid burners, so you can burn residue to get rid of it, but that does pollute as well, because you are burning things. You see, we're still at 99%, it's going to take a very long time to get this down. But yeah, that's how pollution works. I hope you all understood it. If you have any questions, just ask me down below. Again, I will be fixing any mistakes I make in a pinned comment. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.